What is good, Capricorn? Thank you for uh, tuning in, loves. Okay, so let's see what is coming towards you and love. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, well, that came out quick. I didn't even know this. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You also have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. All right, so forgiving and learning is important here for the Capricorn. Okay, so I did split the deck and I seen your card come out here. To be done with another Capricorn. All right. What's coming to Capricorn in love? Let me get eight cards on the table. What's coming to Capricorn in love? All right, Capricorn. So uh, you may be connecting with um, you may be connecting with a Taurus, a Cancer, but. To be honest with you, Capricorn, some of you may be dating someone new um, or in the dating process or talking stage or something like that. Um, of course, these could be future events. But I do see like this person is actually really committed to getting to know you, dating you, um, and hopefully having a commitment with you um, in, the past, in, in the future. Okay, You do have the Knight of Coins, Page of Swords. Yeah, some of you, yeah, you're definitely in the talking stage, getting to know this person, trying to gauge what the fuck is their intention, okay? They do have good intentions, though. I can see that they're they're focused on you, okay? This person is being consistent with you. They're going to be consistent, um, and they're putting in a lot of effort. Nine of Pentacles is a devotion, devoted energy, a committed energy. Um, so if you wonder, does this freak want to commit to you? Yes, they do. And I feel like slowly but surely they will. It feels like somebody here is a little bit paranoid about the other's intentions. Just a little bit. Um, but they mean well. They definitely mean well. Wow, this person has a lot of affection for you. Okay. I'm hearing that this person's intentions are definitely really good. It's in the right place. Um, so that I feel like this person is going to properly court you. They're going to do all these things. So even if you guys are not exclusive yet, okay, I feel like no matter who else they're seeing, no matter who else that they could be talking to, I feel like they feel the most connected with you. And I feel like this person is moving slowly but surely towards exclusivity with you. Um, I don't know. I just, I do feel like this is like a new connection. So things are still kind of developing here. Um, it doesn't really feel like someone from the past. I don't know. Like, it doesn't feel like this is someone you have a, he a heavy history with, is what I'm trying to say. It does not feel that way at all. Yeah, this person is definitely really interested. Um, have all these pentacles. So that is a good sign of, um, somebody who is definitely, um, genuinely interested here in you i feel like someone's a little afraid they have their wall up just a little bit not that high though um it could be you but this person they just want to love you i don't know very similar to aries reading could be connecting with an aries um taurus for sure okay we have cancer we have virgo uh libra okay Yeah, this person is definitely uh, very much interested in building with you, okay? Um, something long-lasting. They're looking for their person. That's just what I'm getting. This person is actually looking for their um, the person that they could commit to, that they could settle down with. Uh, I'm hearing dating to marry, like dating with serious intentions, okay? Um, they're not here to play any kind of games here, okay? They're not here to play any games with you. Point blank, period. 
Um, so if you wonder if this person is feeling you, they are. Some of you, this may be a friend uh, that you question if they have romantic feelings for you, and it feels like they do. Okay? They definitely do. Let me see. Capricorn, you want to tell me more? You have the devil, okay? I feel like this person is going to get obsessed with you very quickly. They're going to get obsessed with you rather soon. Um, it, like I said, even, it doesn't matter how early it is, this person is going to get obsessed with you, okay? And um, I feel like I'm hearing someone loves hard, so it's like when they love, they just love all the way. And they say, I'm working. I told you that already. This When they love, they just they love all the way. Okay, um, I'm working, Anissa. All right. Aries, Aries. Yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, but yeah, even if it starts off, like I said, even if it starts off as something that is um, a little bit more physical at first, like I said, this person's intentions are definitely um, solid, I feel. Anissa. I'm working. Hello. I'm working. Okay. Go upstairs. Okay, so yeah. I feel like this person does want to make you their boyfriend or their girlfriend, um, you know, down the line and whatnot. What's coming to Capricorn and love? Capricorn. I wasn't happy with the way things were going, okay? So, um, I don't know how that resonates for you, but, you know, take it how it resonates. So, maybe this group does have a third party. Like, they're not really happy with that freak I'm hearing, indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. So, maybe for some of you in the past, this person wasn't decisive, Okay. Maybe they didn't know what they wanted or whatever the case may be. But you have commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. So this person knows for a fact that they want you to be in their life. They want to commit to you. Again, like I was already saying, um, things didn't go the way that I planned. Reminiscing, I miss our inside jokes. Reflection, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So yeah, some of you, this could be mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Some of you, um, it could be somebody to where it's like they weren't consistent in the past. They didn't know what they wanted or whatever the case may be. But now it feels like this person could have, they could know now, right? Um, because I see this person showing up with consistent patterns and whatnot. So like I said, um, it's a general reading. You just have to take it how it resonates. I'm not sure, you know, um, who did what, but um, that's just the moral of the story here, okay? All right, let's see. Any messages for Capricorn from this person? Some of you, I'm hearing you have multiple people interested, interested in you. It's not just this person, okay? It's not just this person at all. So let's do um, talking to others about you, planning a date night. Let me take you shopping. This freak wants to take you shopping. Open up to me more. Freak. Okay, so some of you I'm hearing someone's used to like dating freaks or you know, dating people who just don't have good intentions. So that could be why there's a little paranoia here. Yeah, some of you need to release somebody who's just a freak. Okay, release a freak. Um take you on a nice date soon. Have my babies. Yeah, this person's thinking about marriage, settling down, uh, children, all these type of things. It's over is in the reverse. My feelings for you run deep. Heart to heart combo is coming, okay? Will you reject me if I come back? Apology. I'm coming back. Is Freak keep saying that? Yeah, some of you, um, 
This person was inconsistent in the past. They were act, they were a player in whatever their deal was, okay? But I feel like that is totally um, changing here. A dynamic is changing. And others of you, this is obviously somebody, a newer person um, who's looking to get exclusive with you. But overall, I do feel like there's this energy of commitment and exclusivity that's coming for you and somebody in particular, okay? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. So yeah, this freak only wants you. They're very committed to you. Okay, very, very much so. Okay, so thank you Capricorn for being here with me. Talk to y'all soon.